Uh, what are we doing? The men's final. Or, well, individual's final. Two rounds, 21 thrusters, 21 pull-ups at 40. For the guys, two rounds of 15 and 15 chest bars at 50 kilos. And then two rounds of nine thrusters at 60, nine bar muscle ups. I wanted it to be fantasy land, like the classic thrown in Hobart workout, but we didn't have enough time on the schedule. I don't think anyone will beat Fronin's time. <laughs> I'm gonna stick at a 40 kilo bar because thrusters are still, like, if I did 60 kilo thrusters, I don't think my back would hack it. So I'll give Phil a good push. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a 10 second countdown, but it wasn't. Uh, you want the 10 seconds? Yes, but I, I need the 10 seconds. <laughs> Go! Thank you. My legs are not ready for this. Gee whiz. Yeah, Oh, my legs. I did not miss thrust this one bit. Yes. Oh my god, my god. Look at this team, we're doing it on the set. Whoa. Oh, they got some comfy seats. I found a, a child falling over. And it's gonna be me getting out of bed tomorrow morning after all those thrusters. Good job. It's a good final workout though. Anyway, let's talk about day two. Day two team, wow. Fun one. That's seven, that's 14 reps in the bank before, but next to them. Whoa, whoa, did whoa. you see this? We made a little change of action there. Holy smokes. I whoa. don't know if that was a smart move. <laughs> that's not smart, that's not gonna help them out. I like the look idea. Right now. <laughs> Next to them. How bad was that? No words. Bad. Yeah. bad. I saw midway through that well on the last 21. Oh man. She tried yeah, to lift your side. Yeah, that's like, okay. Really boss like, go on the men's side and say, okay, nice for me. And then, okay, I think I have, have to go back. <laughs> but yeah. That with burpee, man. That's. Worst combination in CrossFit. Really? For me, it's because I'm. It crossed a giant. <laughs> it's, yeah, <laughs> exercise for me. <laughs> so looking forward for the next one. Day two team, started off with a fun one. Two separate workouts, event four and event five. Event four, 84 wall balls into 38 toes to bar. Grip, core, quads. That had a five minute time cap, then you had a one minute transition. Then the athletes went into a 14 meter handstand walk back and over the ramp. 22 dumbbell box step overs, haven't seen them since regionals. Back and over the ramp, 22 dumbbell box step overs, back and over the ramp, with a time cap of seven minutes. Nice, Evan, finish the run. Oh my God. 10 seconds left, ladies, 10 seconds. I didn't know my forearms could get so big. Three, two, five. Oh, I finished, yay. Thank you. Oh. That is definitely not your normal signature. Oh, I don't have a great signature. I only got like 8,000 followers, come on. <laughs> hey, I'll put your Instagram handle in now and there goes another couple. How was that? That was good. I was, I'm never sure how that ramp is going to be when it matters. I've done it a thousand times and I remember regionals, the last uh, West Regional, I just got caught up on it and I couldn't get over and I went from like third place to like 20th in one workout so it felt the day good. You did it. I saw your little snake too you did like a like a backwards arc. I know only I never do that in practice. Thanks it was, was it, interesting. Was with, it your first time? On the ramp? Yeah. First time with one hand. Oh no! <laughs> I, I just tried to jump down from the rig so 
Yeah, that was interesting. Are you sure that you're you recovering right. time? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's still on though, so hopefully. I tried to do the uh, toaster bar and broken and then kind of, uh, it suddenly just slipped off and I fell on my back and my hand was uh, the first thing hitting the floor, so uh, then I was trying to do the... <laughs> I mean, good job on the trying to do the toaster bar and broken. Yeah, yeah, I tried and then... Uh, so it was a lot of fun until then, and then I tried to do the ramp in the toaster bar with one hand and that was not so easy, so... How far did you get to? I got had 10 left. Oh, right, so then I was 10 with uh, one hand and then uh, trying to do the ramp. <laughs> Andreas Grenz of Lane 4 taking in heat number 2. Will Kane coming in as well. Nice work from Will. 30 seconds to go. Hi, <laughs> bad. All the reps count. Amazing. Only two heats. We still have one more heat. Your biggest fan. Ah! Hi, Oba. Who's that? That's my daughter. No uh, she, she's awesome, so kind. You train at home, right? You, you're a garage gym trainer, and you just boss that. I love stuff like that. I had to be a little bit smart. It looks stupid when you don't do full effort on the wall boss, but I was gassed. I was like, okay, let's have some fun. All the family's here, and they're cheering for me, and it's so amazing to be at a stage like this. It's my first time individual international event, so I loved it. It was so much fun. He's got me smiling behind the camera. It's the first one. And then I just needed to take my time and have minimum. I think I had two trips to die on the ramp. Something like that. But that felt good. Taking so, you back to the original days with the, yeah, mate, the that's dumbbells. What I was thinking. Step overs. That little kid, he was quick. But um, we'll see how he is on these machines. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, it should um, stand me in good stead now. Hopefully. So, so yeah. Do you enjoy it? Hello. That's because Jazz likes horses? Yeah. <laughs> That's me when my beard was terrible. Yeah. Santa Claus and My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the lads say. It, like, it was a cool one to watch because the athletes had to send it on the first part to get it under five minutes. Like you're doing over 100 reps in five minutes, you're doing over 20 wep... <laughs> 20 reps <laughs> a minute? It's like on a Donald... It's web it. What's that? What is it? The Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're kind of doing over 20 reps a minute. And the top guys went pretty much unbroken. So then going into that second part, you had to compose yourself, especially with the forearms and the shoulders to get over and back the ramp. And holding on to those dumbbells, going over the box, gets your forearms even more. And as you know, team doing workouts that involve a lot of forearms into handstand walking, get all the blood in there and then stretch it you lose a bit of control. And then a little bit later on, looking at the team side, we had uh, what everybody enjoys, a uh, heavy lifting workout. 100 worm squats as a team, that was one workout, and then the second workout within the rest of the time frame, which was 12 minutes, you had to hit the heaviest clean possible. Lift. Here are just a couple of the best lifts of the day, with the top lift being 170 kilos, and he did it as a power clean. <laughs> For my wins, I need my hands. This life is real. Don't they pretend? Came off the fence. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. And for my wins, I need my hands. That was hype. Yeah. Five second isometric like that. Twenty seconds to go. This life is real. Can't play pretend. Came off the fence. And that is where I quit CrossFit. Gonna see myself out with my legs that don't work from my thrusters. <laughs> Slapstick comedy. I don't know what that was. That's kind of like jazz when she falls asleep and twitches. Yeah, today also team we did see a a marriage proposal. That was pretty cool. And great to be a part of it. We've known those guys for I don't know like a couple of years. They're subscribers, and he was like, "Can you film it?" And I was like, "What? Well, that's a lot of pressure, but I'll do it." On a scale of one to nervous, how nervous are you? One thousand. Okay. You okay. Yeah. You know this guy. Yeah, you have fun? Yeah, loads. Yeah. Alright, are you a competitor? No. No? I'm with Evolve RX. Alright, you want to win a big prize? Yeah. You want to win a big prize? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Turn around. I want to push you. Oh.
everybody was tearing up. And then the crowd afterwards, the DJ dropped a banger. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be like a, must be love, love, you know, like a slower song. Like I'm like, oh, it's going to be romantic and they're going to hug each other. It's all going to be, and he just dropped like this thumper. And then everyone in the crowd just like started <laughs> clapping. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, goosebumps. Goosebumps moment Married of day two. On the... At a CrossFit event, hey? And then we saw event six, the workout that you saw me do a couple of days ago. The Concept 2 workout. It's on the screen right now, it's a brutal one. It's one that does blow up your legs. They wanted it to be like acid bath and <laughs> I got a couple of good finishes. What's with the what's with the mixed grip rowing? Oh, sometimes I feel like I have a little more pull. I did it at regionals too, and they were like, they asked me about it. I don't really have a reason, just to switch things up. You're a trendsetter. Uh, I try. Yeah. I try like last workout with the wall balls, toes bar. I wore my grips on the back sides of my hand, and like my fingers kept getting stuck, and they did not ever get flipped around for toes bar. <laughs> You were smiling through that. Oh yeah, you gotta smile through the pain. That's the only way you can do this workout. 11.22, sure. did you do it in training? No, I saw it on the uh, online when I was in the air, so I haven't touched a skier or a rower in a week and a half, so I was really happy, but you do a ton of bike workouts and it paid off. That's all I was thinking about. To one to 10, pain. Pain? Definitely. A 10. <laughs> Can't feel my legs, they're locking up, but it was worth it. Need a lot of points, so I need to send it every workout. Nikolai, the guy that's actually in overall first place right now, finished fifth in that workout. His run to the finish line was amazing. <laughs> His legs didn't exist anymore. It's like when you get out of bed in the middle of the night to go for a wee and your legs have gone numb. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <It's> like, like, <laughs> yeah. But the worst one is a dead shoulder. I've been getting those recently. You can't grab. Just reminds me of the scene of in between is when he tries to give himself a dead arm. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the games ticket. Tomorrow is the day where someone gets their CrossFit games ticket. <laughs> Who did that? Uh, it's the sloth. The both. Sloth. It's both. <laughs> Nikolai, the guy who is the Norwegian championship, just owning. He's only 18 points ahead going into the final day, but he's holding down Norway in his own country, the national champ, leading the event. You love to see it. We then have three people going into the final day, separated by three points, all fighting for a games ticket. We have three events tomorrow. That is crazy. I don't know if they'll be able to sleep tonight. We have Victor Langsfeld, Josh Woodall, and Griffin Rolieri. And this is what Tommy had to say about some of those guys. <laughs> at, at work or hardly working? 
You know, you can like sense someone's presence sometimes. You're like, <laughs> you, usually, usually in like the horror movie, it's right when someone's about to die. They're like, hmm. They haven't oh, noticed. 21. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bit of the sacrament. Oddly enough, Victor Langsfeld is like, he's been on the cusp of qualifying for like five years. He's been between like sixth and tenth at regionals forever. Um, and right now he's in the driver's seat. I think the last two workouts in particular might be a little bit better for Griffin. Victor was a little bit better on his hands. It might be a little bit better in the first workout with the gymnastics and the strict handstand push-ups. I, don't, I honestly don't know a lot about Josh and he's been surprising. But anyway, here is the top five of the male side after day two going into day three. And then looking at the female side, Gabriella Megala, she's way out ahead, but she's already qualified for the CrossFit Games. Andrea Solberg has already qualified for the CrossFit Games. Also the top two spots, both qualified athletes. But then behind them, we have seven women who could potentially be going to the CrossFit Games. Currently in the game spot is Rebecca Vittison with 441 points, three points ahead of Johanna Julia, Julia's daughter, could be the next up and coming daughter. She was your leader after day one, but today there was some like taller people, stronger people events. But tomorrow there is some strict handstand push-ups. And then only another five points back, we have Jacqueline Dahlstrom. And kind of rounding out those top nine females, the seven that could qualify, we have Hayley Murillo, kind of Jazz and I's new favorite. She's a legend, isn't she? Tell, tell me about her, Jess. Well, she does stunts and stuff. Well, that, that's pretty cool, really, isn't it? I'd love to be a stunt lady. I don't know what her husband does, but he's in films and stuff as well. She seems really nice. Yeah. Her capability of doing ring muscle-ups with all of that hair is, you know, a winner for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hayley Murillo has 417 points going into day three. Currently, Rebecca Vitterson, who is the person who is in that game spot, has 441. So she is only 24 points behind with three events. All to play for tomorrow to fight for. I really hope it comes down to that final event because that final event is brutal and it comes down to uh, just who wants it more. Who said like CrossFit isn't exciting, eh? Uh, zoom out. Did I nail it? Did I nail it? Yeah, nailed it. And on that note, smash that like button for Jazz. And we'll see you tomorrow. Oh. See you in the next one. Sarah and Matt with a giant beard. Eskimo, so. Eskimo Joe. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, Morning Chalk Up couldn't get a hotel room. They tried to get it late, but he has a, he's actually built his own igloo outside. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, also, I'm used Michelin to the snow. Tires decided to get a new mascot and they're yeah. replacing the, uh, the Michelin man with uh, a blue Italian yeah. named Justin LaFranco. Look, nothing will stop us delivering the news. Not rain, snow, sunshine, blizzards, Norwegian mountains, or Norwegian mountain gnomes. We're going to get it out there. I'm about to deliver some newspapers, baby. <laughs> uh, Take it, Tommy. <laughs> these views are expressly uh, uh, that of Morning Chalk Up and Morning Chalk Up Alone. Wait, what views did you express before I got here? No. <laughs> oh, boy. This life is real. Can't play with Came off the bench. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. I'm on my job. I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a son of 101. You should know that. I get the front and in the back. You should know that. No need to stun. It's never